to reconstitute the Arab states so that they can have control of the region. You literally had three Iranian spies working in senior positions directly around the U.S. government. One of them, as far as we know, remains a chief of staff in the Department of Defense to this day. If we can't get the Americans to give us money for Ukraine anymore, then we shall get them to give us money for Israel. Either way, the shakedown continues. Hamas is ISIS. Look, ISIS got started through funding from our friends and allies. Seven trillion dollars in the Middle East. And you know what we have? We have nothing. If you take out Saddam, Saddam's regime, I guarantee you that it will have enormous positive reverberations on the region. Oil, securing oil was one of them. Establishing permanent military bases in the region was another one. But a far less talked about reality is Israeli plans, which made clear that the balkanization of surrounding countries, in particular Iraq, and the people of Israel, the Jewish state of Israel, are like sheep being led to slaughter. Because ultimately, the policies of Israel are completely and totally unsustainable. The puppet masters are quite happy to sacrifice the people of Israel. They're going to destroy themselves if they do attack Iran, because Iran can fight back and does have allies, and a lot of countries are sick and tired of Israel's threats to both its immediate neighbors and even to the rest of the world when we look at the Samson option. What is your secret? The secret is that we have America. I'm going to pull the whole thing down. I'm going to bring the whole fucking diseased, corrupt temple down on your head. It's got to be built. Every man, woman, and child lives under a nuclear sword of Damocles, hanging by the slenderest of threads, capable of being cut at any moment by accident or miscalculation or by madness. Eshkol was able to deliver a message through back channels to President Kennedy that Israel was not interested in the security guarantee because they could build a bomb and therefore were not interested in inspections. Their official response was sent on August 19th, in which they agreed to let the Americans visit Demona. But after Kennedy was assassinated, Johnson ascended to the presidency and would be far more friendly with Israel. You have lost a good friend, but you have found a better one in me. We gotta get to the outside and tell them what's happening here. We're gonna die here. I am not loading myself up with cortisol. So I can just sit around and wait here to get killed. Yeah, right. It's better to get killed out on the street. Hey, I am a master at moving downfield and they don't know I'm in the game. <laughs>